Hello, I'm Ron Richardson and I will be leading a conference in Hong Kong on October 24 and 25 about defining a self in your family of origin. One major concept in Bowen Family Systems Theory is the triangle. Dr. Bowen defined the triangle as the primary molecule in our emotional system relationships. If a single person would be considered an atom, then the triangle is the molecule of various people involved in that system. So what is a triangle? At any one point in a day, you and I can be involved in a number of triangles. You may be thinking about a particular one in your life right now. When your clients come in and tell you about somebody else in their life who's not present, that's a triangle. It's the client, you, and the other person. Usually the third person, the other person in the corner of the triangle, is not present and does not know what is being said about him or her. A lot of our counseling work is triangular in nature. If one of your co-workers talks about you to you, about somebody else in your work system, that's a triangle. If your marital partner tells you about uh, one of your children, that's a triangle. Bowen theory offers a number of insights for how to understand and work with triangles in our lives. Uh, and that's part of what I'll be talking about in this conference. For example, triangles are really not good or bad. They're automatic. They happen a lot in our lives. They become, can become problematic if they happen on a chronic basis in relation to particular important people in our lives. Another insight about triangles is that we resort to them when we are anxious or not comfortable with a direct one-to-one -one relationship with the other person involved. We're more comfortable talking to a third person like a friend or a therapist who we think will be more sympathetic to our side uh, in the difficulties in the relationship than we think if we talk to the person directly themselves. And this is true of your clients talking with you as a therapist or counselor. Another insight, and this is the last one I'll mention for right now, is that a third person, like yourself, cannot change a relationship between any other two people. This, of course, is directly relevant to our counseling situation. When people come in and tell you about a situation with somebody in their life and ask you what they should do. We all learn how to triangle growing up in our family of origin. Many of those early triangles last well into our adult lives with little change. As soon as we have contact with a family member, we usually step right back into those triangles. A primary a family triangle would be mother, father, and a child. And we can take sides as a child as to who we favor as our parent, uh, who we're closer to, or who we resent the most. And our parents may do the same with us. Another common triangle in a family is between siblings, as in one sibling saying to another, mother or father always loved you better than me. Much of our family work has to do with managing ourselves within our family relationships. Part of the goal, this is part of the goal of differentiating a self in your family or defining a self in your family. 
We need to find a way to reposition ourselves, it's sometimes called detriangling, in our family. It's not easy to do, but we can, when successfully doing it, create a much different experience for ourselves within our families. <clears throat> There's often a sense of liberation when we can do it. In this conference on October 24 and 25, I will have a lot to say about dealing with important triangles in our lives. I'll talk about my own family experience. And it's a critical part of how we go about doing our family of origin work. I hope that you can attend this conference and bring with you your own thinking about family relationships. I would welcome your comments as we think about together about the issue of working in our family. I hope to see you there. Thank you.